For the past 500 years, residents of Akurede State Capital have been celebrating a festival called Amole to pray for peace and the protection of residents. Markets and shops were closed on the order of the Deji, who is the traditional ruler of Akure to enable residents offer prayers. However, with the status of Akure as the state capital and the looting spree that followed the Ahiribwe festival celebrated last month, the state government put in place measures to avert a repeat. The state executive council at its last meeting directed traditional rulers across the state to take approval for closure of any market ahead of such festivals. To this end, Deji of Akure, Obalade Toyimbo, Alade Lucy got the approval to close some traditional markets, which include Ojaoba, Erekeson, May Market, Odokwetu, Umesi, and Ijemikin Markets, exempting shops and stores from the closure. OSRC's visits to the affected marketplaces showed that they were under lock and key. Some shops and stores expected to be left opened for businesses, however, were closed, apparently for the fear of being attacked. Sele of Akure, Chief Fagite Taiwo, who spoke with OSRC, said the tradition has been in existence for over 500 years where the monarch, Deji of Akure, prays for the peace of the town. He called on residents to respect the tradition for their own benefit. We do is uh, pray for peace, pray for the development of Akure, Pray that we don't have sudden death of our sons and daughters and pray that the king too lives long on the throne. So what we do on Amole Day is predominantly to pray to our ancestors and to Almighty God for peace, for tranquility, for development and for our king to live long on the throne. People should go about their normal businesses and that we should all be praying for development for tranquility in the land. OSRC camera lens also did not capture adherents of the festival carrying out their usual duties. As at the time of filing this report, there was no report of looting as security operatives also patrolled major streets to forestall any breach. Omori Olahumbiji, OSRC News.